Create with Chris. Create with Chris. Please watch this. Create with Chris. Create with Chris. Create with Chris. Please watch this. Create with Chris. Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Chris White. Um, I am an author and an illustrator of things, stuff. Um, nice to see you. What strange times we are in. It's a strange time across the country. We've got to stay inside. We, uh, we can't find toilet rolls anywhere. And many, many authors and illustrators are making videos because they've got nothing else to do. Um, but hopefully this video will help you wherever you are. Welcome to my bunker. Um, hopefully this will spark a little bit of creativeness uh, into your life as you um, ah, as we all sit inside and find things to do. Uh, so many strange questions people ask. People ask an awful lot. They say, Chris, they say, where can we get, where can we get uh, pasta from? Where can we get tins of beans? But I think you'll find, my friends, the question that we all get asked the most is, how do I draw a dinosaur? It's tricky, it's tricky, uh, but don't worry, I am here. Nurses are nursing, doctors are doctoring, many fine people are helping the effort all around the country, all around the world. I'm here to show you how to draw a dinosaur. Key service, key service. Right, okay, where's my pen? All right. Now, this all ties in because I, uh, one of my books, here it is, ding, is the, uh, the A to Z. It's funny how you have to look at your own book to remember what the title of it is, isn't it? Uh, the A to Z of completely made up dinosaurs. Um, I'll get to that in a minute uh, because I have a little exercise that you can do at the end of this video. Okay, uh, let me put that down there. Right, here's my pen. Oh, yes, you're going to need a pen and a piece of paper. So um, if you haven't got those handy, then uh, I'll pause the video now so you can go and get one. Got one? Good. Okay, so um, how do you draw a dinosaur? Here we go. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let me just flip that over there. Uh, right, we're going to start with um, two circles. That's two circles. Here we go, everybody. Here's one. Here's another one. That was easy, wasn't it? How easy was that? Um, two little dots needed for the eyeballs. There we go. Excellent. Does help if you make the noises as you go. Yeah. Um, eyebrows, I don't know. Wee, wee. There we go. Beautiful, hey. Um, now, um, okay, you're watching. You what you got you're watching. This bit's tricky. Alright? You've got this. You've got this. It's gonna be fine. Here we go. I know. I know. It's hard. It's hard. You can do it. You can do it. Alright? You got it? Cool. Okay, we're going all the way down here. Wee! There we go. All right, still with me? Excellent. We're going back again. Here we go. Whee! And stop there. How's that? Looks like a banana. Um. Right, then we're going to go up here. Here we go. All the way around there like that. Stop there. Oh, you've got to stop there. Just, just, just pause. All right, then we're going to go all the way back around again. Here we go. Whee! Excellent. Just noticed Kermit over there. Holy ho! Okay, uh, let's keep going. Um, two little dots again. There we go. Nostrils, very important. <coughs> um, teeth, we need teeth. Boing, 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 boing. You got that? Excellent. Um, now there's all kinds of sorts of different, all kinds of sorts of different dinosaurs. Um, some have long necks, some have stubby little necks. Hey, so to you. Oh, let's go for a little, little stubby one, you know. Um, we need the top of his head. 
Here we go. Are you ready? Whee! All right. Okay. We need those little arms, you know, the little T-Rex arms. Okay, they're quite easy to do. Um, something like this. Boing, boing. <laughs> Right. That's the official noise of a T-Rex arm. Boing, boing, oosh. You got that? Okay, here we go again. Boing, boing, oosh. Nice. It's kind of like that. You know? Think Thriller. All right. Um, and then we're going to do his body down here. There we go. Little bit of a tummy on him. Little bit of a tummy. Obviously he needs to go out for his one uh, portion of exercise a day. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Jar Jar Binks. Misa got a drawer. No, don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. Let me put him a Kermit down there. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, he needs some legs. Wee wee. Okay, just like that. All right. You got that? You got it? You got it? If you've got it, can you say? Yeah, Chris, I got it. No, I can't hear. You. Can't hear. You. Bit, 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 bit louder, bit louder. Yeah, gotcha. Well done, well done. Okay, uh, then we're gonna go wee, just there. All right, you got that. And then his other leg there, wee. All right, uh, tail. I hear you say. Um, whoa. Oh, coming out the back there. Beautiful. Um, and very important, the dinosaur belly button um, which dinosaurs of old dinosaurs of old as opposed to the uh, brand new dinosaurs uh, dinosaurs of old uh, would get a uh, terrible fluff in their belly buttons it was it was it was awful I think that's what made the dinosaurs uh, die out in the end was the the fluff in the belly button yeah you think we've got it bad but whew. okay uh, that's good that's good okay my friends now there's your dinosaur there's your basic dinosaur all right now I know he's not got any. Uh, he's not got any spikes. He's not got any hair. Do dinosaurs have hair? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. Um, cool. So um, there's your dinosaur. Shall we have a rest now? I don't want this video to go on for too long because you're going to get bored. You've got other things to do. Uh, well, actually, no, you probably haven't. Anyway, uh, so let, let, let's just have a break. If you've got a, if you've got a drink, then here we go. Cheers, everyone. Okay, uh, had a rest? Good. Now, my book. My book, here we go. Ding! The A to Z of Completely Made Up Dinosaurs. Let me tell you a little bit about this. Well, one day, I was sat outside. I was bored. There was nothing to do. Do you remember sitting outside? I remember those days. Anyway, um, we, uh, I was sat outside. And I, 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 it was one of those times, you know when, you, when you're going to check into a hotel... All right, and they won't let you in till like two o'clock, three o'clock or anything. I got to this hotel, I had an hour to spare, an hour. I was sat there, I had nothing to do, nowhere to go. So I sat there and I was staring at a tree, all right, a tree. And um, I looked at the tree and I thought, that tree looks a bit like a dinosaur. And it did. Uh, it kind of like had a long neck and it was kind of, well, you know what a dinosaur looks like. There's one there. Um, so I thought, oh, look at that. It's... And what kind of tree was it? It was an it was an apple tree. So I looked at it and I thought, oh yeah, it's an applesaurus. Okay, which um, I thought, oh, that's a good idea. I wonder if I can make up a dinosaur for every letter of the alphabet. So um, it turned into a book in the end. Look, the uh, A uh, there we go is for applesaur. There we go. So there's a big green dinosaur shaped like an apple, and it eats. Can you guess? Can you guess? Apples. Um, and then so I went down the line, B, what was B? B was a bigosaur, a bigosaurus, sorry, a bigosaurus. Uh, he's, he's just big, he's just, he's just a big dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. C, one of my personal favourites, is a candy flosseraptor. That's right, people, a candy flosseraptor. So, I went all the way through um, the alphabet A to Z, or Z, for our American friends, and um, I came up with a, uh, a brand new dinosaur. So, here's a little idea. How about you got to choose a letter, all right? You've got to choose a letter. It's completely up to you. Uh, uh, M, okay, M. Now, in this book, M, do excuse me a second, M is, uh, what is M? I have no idea. Did I write this? Oh, it's a Magnetaurus. Ooh, a Magnetaurus, very nice. 
Um, and uh, it's a dinosaur that looks like a magnet and uh, attracts metal. She attracts metal from miles around. It sticks to her with ease. She's quite a collection of objects, including a caveman's car keys. Yeah, no, nobody said it had to make much sense. So, here's my challenge from me to you. Um, I've got some uh, some ideas. So if we go for M, I'm going to go for M. Okay, so you've got a letter M. I'm going to write it down. No, I, I'm not saying that you don't know what the letter M is, but uh, here we go. M. Okay, so you've got to think of a dinosaur for M. So, uh, number one. What is your dinosaur name? That's what is your dinosaur's name? Uh, so M, obviously, going to be uh, a... Monkey saw. Monkey, it's a monkey. Uh, no, it's, it's a monkey rex. It's a monkey rex. Okay, obviously. Excellent. Now, my friends, now you have your dinosaur. You can add a few bits and bobs to your dinosaur. Okay, so a monkey rex obviously is going to be uh, holding a banana. Okay, because that's what monkey rexes eat. Bananas, obviously. Um, it's going to have some monkey hair on the top of its head. There we go. Uh, what else do monkeys have? Tails! Oh, it's already got a tail. Don't worry, we've got a tail on a tail. Like a tail on a tail, like a tail on a tail. Looks a bit like it's on fire, but we won't worry about that. Um, um, and what else do monkeys have? It's going to have some fur, isn't it? Let's get some fur on it. There we go, a little bit of fur. La 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 la. Nice and furry. Okay, so that. Oh, yeah, we get some fur. Instead of spikes, we're going to get some fur. He's a hairy dinosaur. Excellent. There we go. Let's get him uh, on the ground there. Beautiful. Right, so there is uh, my uh, monkey Rex. Now, so you've got a name for your dinosaur. Uh, step two will be what does your dinosaur eat. What does your dinosaur eat? Uh, well, mine's obviously going to be bananas. It's a monkey saw. He's holding a banana. Okay, step number three uh, is this. Uh, where does your dinosaur live? A monkey saw, obviously going to be in the trees. Going to be in the trees. Swinging from tree to tree like a dinosaur does. Yeah, okay. Number four is going to be what noise does your dinosaur make? We're, we're, no roaring, okay? Dinosaurs roar. This is a completely made up dinosaur. A monkey saw, uh, a, mo a monkey rex. Uh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and number five, what does your dinosaur do? What does he do all day? Uh, monkey rex, what do monkeys do? Uh, a monkey rex would scratch himself, obviously, um, and do other monkey type activities. Hmm. Number six, uh, write a story. Here we go. It's all yours now. Write a poem or a story about your dinosaur, your monkey saw. It could be a little poem, could be a, an epic story. It's completely up to you. I would love to see some of them. So, um, I don't know, I'm going to put this on places, YouTube, Twitter, all those kind of things. So, if anybody draws a picture of a dinosaur, or anybody writes a little poem or a story, then please show me. This could be the first of many beautiful things we do together, or this could be it. So enjoy it, you know. Uh, so, I wish you um, happy creating, um, happy imagination using. Um, it was great to talk to you. Um, I think we need uh, an outro. Here we go. Create with Chris. Create with Chris. I'm glad you watched this. Create with Chris. I did this at home. Filming on my phone. The dog next door. He's eating a bone. Okay, I shall see you next time. Now look away now, don't watch this bit, because this is a bit where everybody always leans towards the phone or the iPad and you can see right up the nose. So don't watch this bit. Okay, it's embarrassing. Don't watch it, don't watch it.